And the government today tabled a document in the lower house which seeks to change the negotiating cycle in the public sector. This has not gone down well with the parliamentary opposition, as TVJ's Janela Pursuce now reports. Just when Parliament was about to adjourn. The motion is that we adjourn until tomorrow, the 14th. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, no. Mr. Speaker, please. Mr. Speaker, please. Mr. Speaker, please. Mr. Speaker, please. I crave your indulgence on the motion of adjournment. Mr. Speaker, I and crave your indulgence. On a point of order. This is on a point of order. On a point of order. You can't Mr. Speaker, raise that. Mr. Mr. Speaker, on a point of Mr. Order, Mr. Speaker, this is the national interest. Mr. Daly's non-compliance to the House rules forced the Speaker to rise. Mr. Daly! Mr. Daly, you are a senior member of this parliament. You are a senior member of this parliament. The Speaker is standing. Have a seat. Mr. Charles would then allow the opposition MP to speak, but not before admonishing him. Mr. Daly's grouse, a Ministry of Finance order paper laid in the House, which essentially speaks to changing the negotiating cycle in the public sector from two to four years. You're going to change the cycle of negotiation while you have the police still negotiating. You have teachers still negotiating. You have nurses still negotiating. Doctors still negotiating. And you're going to change the cycle on the public sector workers like this? It is a shame on this administration. Shame. And I tell you, I tell you today, Mr. Speaker, I say further, I say further, this will not be allowed to be passed. Mr. Shaw, in his response, referred to the ministry paper. For the purposes of subsection 1, the minister responsible for the public service shall, by order, subject to negative resolution, establish compensation negotiation, negotiating cycles that allow for compensation settlement for persons employed to the government to be incorporated into the estimates of expenditure for the financial year to which settlement relates. And so it should be noted, Mr. Speaker, that among the targets that Section 48C of the FAA Act speaks to is the attainment of a wage to gross domestic product of 9% or less by the end of financial year 2018-19. And with that, the House was adjourned. Shanana Pressius, TVJ News.